A newspaper blew up to the window. Mitzi's going crazy. Why do I like coffee? Coffee smells wonderful. It has zero calories, which is good for me to maintain my sexy figure. I enjoy the process, the grinding of the beans. It's kind of cathartic. The routine of waking up and making coffee just helps get my mindset ready to destroy the task monsters ahead and gain experience points so I can level up my endurance at the next bonfire. And it gives me energy. True, I might be addicted, and if I don't have it, I get really tired. But most studies these days seem to suggest that coffee's actually good for you. Not just not bad for you, but actually good for you. And that is why I like coffee. Not saying you gotta like coffee, but I mean, just, just don't be a hater, all right? Beard lovers, today is a big day. Oh my goodness, camera's falling. Sheesh. Where was I? Beard lovers, today is a big day for several reasons. Later, we're revealing where we're moving. I tell you now, but China's not here and she'd be pissed. I'm right here. Shh. First things first, to the board. Okay, yesterday, Miss Carcassonne with July is a day. Uh, I just don't worry about it. Now then, I need to exercise and jog. Why did I just sit down? I gotta say, the push-up and rotation, that thing, I used to hate that when I first started this. When I looked at what I was supposed to do, I was like, how do you, how does one even, I couldn't do it for the full 30 seconds, but now, I can do it all the way to the end, and it's, it's kind of easy. Triceps dip on chair, same thing. I can only do like nine. Now I, I just did more than 20. All I had to do was do this over and over and over again. Three miles, eight minute, 20 second pace. Past few days have been a little bit tougher. I think I need a break, which is good because on the schedule, tomorrow, I don't run. Heading to a coffee shop, get some editing done. It's another windy day. So I had a bit of a scare. I ordered these delicious cheesy grits, but I thought there might be nuts in them. There's like these little flecks of things. I think it's just seeds though, because I'm not having a reaction. I'm allergic to tree nuts, if you didn't know. Whew. And now, 15 minutes later, looking like rain. God, it's raining. All right. It's time for a discussion. Where are we going to move? What city? For a long time, before YouTube even happened, I wanted to move to LA, get into the, the industry. Uh, Mitzi, <laughs> Mitzi, Mitzi has the hiccups. Oh, LA's great, because I, I, we have a lot of friends in LA. Excellent weather. Ex the weather can't be better. But then a few months ago, we got this idea that we wanted to build and live in a tiny house. Tiny little house with wheels on it. So you can you can haul it around if you want. We wanted to move to my parents' house for like three months, build it, and document the whole process, take it on down the road. We already live in a really small apartment. It's about 450 square feet. It's kind of appealing to travel and, and focus on other things other than just cleaning and tidying all of your stuff. Mm -hmm. And we were very excited about it. We were, it was like a done deal. We were gonna do this. Mm -hmm. Then we did a little more research into it. What did we discover? Yeah, the the world isn't really super friendly to tiny houses yet. There um, are like tiny house communities. There are certain small towns that might be friendly to tiny houses, but nowhere we really wanted to live in or near LA. Just for the heck of it, we decided let's let's look at uh, other t other cities. Let's let's look at see how friendly they are to tiny houses. So we looked at places like Portland cuz that's, you know, they're super hip. They probably cool with tiny houses. Not cool with tiny houses. Mm -hmm. Still not cool with Austin, Texas. We thought maybe they would be pretty cool with tiny houses. We've been to Austin. We have friends in Austin. It would be a 
Uh, there's lots of awesome restaurants, cool music scene, cool film. It's got a good film scene. Not cool with tiny houses like Nashville. Nashville, Seattle. We could probably find a place illegally, to, like in someone's backyard or something, if we wanted to. But we didn't want to find a place illegally. We didn't, and we wanted to live in a place we wanted to live. We didn't want to settle for a place. So we abandoned. We we pretty much abandoned the tiny house. But we didn't abandon the idea of Austin. So we're moving to Austin, Texas. I know one of Austin's mottos is basically don't move here because <laughs> they have their, their their population is increasing faster than almost any other city. Sorry about that. And yeah. we understand why, um, but we're choosing not to listen. Another motto that Austin has is keep Austin weird. And uh, Austin. Austin. Do you want to wink? Yeah, is this the end of the video? I think this might be the end of the video. Without saying anything, let's just know exactly when to oh, do it. Okay, geez. ready? Marriage test. Ready? Mm-hmm. Did we do it? I don't know. I think we did. I don't know if she's gonna like the extreme heat. That's okay, we'll have air conditioning. She'll just pee in the house. We'll just have a house that smells like dog pee. I mean, we pee in the house. That's a good point. Maybe we could teach her to use the toilet. Mm-hmm. Mitzi, do you wanna go to the toilet? You wanna go to the toilet? You want to use the toilet? You want to use the toilet? <laughs>